the path of knowledge is the way to jannah the path of knowledge is the way to jannah alhamdulillah rabbil alamin was salatu was salam ala sayyidil mursalin amma ba'd fa'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim ट्रांसमिशन <laughs> transmission we have our mubalighin and a great topic our topic definitely is a need today our topic is the rights of the last prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam inshallah azza wa jalla is hawale se baat hogi duniya mein bahut debates ho rahi hain kabhi iske bare mein talk baat hoti hai kabhi iske bare mein baat hoti hai but aaj jinke bare mein baat kar rahe hain is the soul of universe wo jo na the to kuch na tha wo jo na ho to kuch na ho जान है वो जहान की जान है तो जहान है उनके राइट्स के बारे में पता है या नहीं पता किसी और के राइट्स के बारे में पता होना नहीं होना ये एक अलग मैटर है लेकिन सबसे ज़्यादा टू प्रोटेक्ट आवर ईमान एंड आवर फेथ वी शुड नो द राइट्स ऑफ आवर बिलविड रसूल सल्लल्लाहु वसल्लम विल स्टार्ट विद द ब्लैसिंग्स ऑफ द्रूद पाक द प्रोफिट सल्लाम सैड जैन मजालिसलाया فإن صلاتكم عليها نور لكم يوم القيامة. Decorate your gatherings by reciting peace and blessings upon me, as this will be nur for you on the day of judgment. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu taala ala Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Inshallah, in starting reciting beautiful kalam. Salli ala Nabi na, Salli ala Nabi na, Salli. Oh, my God. 
محمود کہا سبحان اللہ 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 سب کونین بنائے گئے سرکار کی خاطر کونین کی خاطر تمہیں سرکار بنا اب ان کے بارے میں کتنی نولیج ہے کیا ہے انشاءاللہ کچھ رائٹس کے حوالے سے بات کریں گے we'll start our beautiful مبلغ دعوت اسلامی our منیب شاہ مدنی انشاءاللہ یہ منیب بھائی بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سی صاحب like every other topic of path to success in particularly the month of ربی النور شریف it's a very beautiful topic and such a unique topic as well. As you mentioned at the start of the program as well, that today we have in this world, in this era as well. As I said, just a side note as well, rights of women only came into existence because of the Prophet Ali yeah. So today, uh, all these rights that are here, rights of animals, rights of parents, rights of mother and father, rights of your teachers, rights of your Piro Murshid, right of your elders, rights of your neighbors, all of these rights, we can go on, we can name hundreds of rights. All of these, uh, some of course are very important uh, for us to learn as well. But <coughs> the one who taught us all these rights, yeah. do we know the rights of that individual who taught all of these rights to us? Subhanallah. Meaning that time of ignorance where people used to disrespect their mothers, disrespect women, they used to bury them alive. And all other aspects as well, those that have no etiquette or respect for their neighbors. When that being, when that personality came into this world and he taught us those rights, he taught us the rights of parents. Al-Jannatu tahta aqdam al-Ummahat. Or kama qal, that paradise is under beneath the feet of the mother. And all these uh, things that the Prophet Ali sallallahu alayhi wa the rights, they taught us. Do we know the rights of that person? As he said, firstly, we must know the importance of the person that we're going to talk about the rights of. Meaning, for example, if you talk about our parents, there are so many fadila or so many virtues mentioned regarding your mother and father. Meaning mother is the door to, uh, the uh, paradise and beneath their feet, the, the father is the middle door, yeah. which is the key as well. Meaning you know the importance of the father, then you learn the rights. Meaning in the Quran, it says you should not say oof to your parents. You should not do this, you should, when they enter, you should stand. This is mentioned in books as well. So those people who hold importance in our lives, we know their rights. Uh, uh, Sharia has mentioned their rights. Similarly, there is no one in the history that ho should hold more importance to un us than the Prophet Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Than the Prophet Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So therefore, as an ummati of the Prophet Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it is, you can say, which one should make it necessary upon himself to learn the rights of Mustafa Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam upon this nation. What are those rights? Inshallah, we'll discuss them as well briefly. And, uh, and we'll explain some as well. But say, sir, the Prophet Ali Sallallahu is such a unique personality for us that they showed us the way to guidance. They took us out of the period of ignorance and into, the ulama have mentioned that the Prophet Ali Sallallahu took us from the dark and entered us, entered us into light. This is the Prophet Ali Sallallahu And Alhamdulillah, one way, you can say, a right of the Prophet Ali Sallallahu upon us, meaning what way, how we can, in one way can repay, which we can't really repay, but is reciting durood upon the Prophet Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Alhamdulillah, we started this uh, uh, segment as well of reciting durood upon the Prophet Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, meaning that personality says, uh, how much do we know about them? <coughs> this is a question we should ask, and the viewers of Madani channel as well, that how much, first in myself, and the panel and the viewers of Madani channel, how much do we know about the Prophet Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Today says, uh, children from school, college, university, you ask them, you know, give me a brief, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to forget an essay or paragraphs, a brief biography about a certain star, a certain footballer, a certain cricketer, a certain being in their life. Rapidly. It'll be on their tongue, say, sir. They won't have to think. You know, sometimes, say, sir, you've got to think before you say. These biographies are, you know, straight away. But when we ask them, okay, give us a brief biography about the Prophet, Ali, Allah. we don't know. That's why. I've come across many individuals, say, sir, in the UK. 
when asked about the Prophet ﷺ, they don't know anything. Meaning they know that they're the Prophet of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. After that, what is the biography? You know, what, what is their name, their father, mother? You know, what tribe are they from? You know, these things are, when you love someone, you know a lot of things about them. Yeah, definitely. This is, this is a proven fact. When you start to like someone or fall in love with someone or respect someone, revere someone, you start to read more about them. That Look at this blessed personality. The, the way they used to walk. The way they used to talk, the way the way they used to greet, mm. they would not greet someone with that uh, with that back turn. They would turn completely towards them Allah. and greet them like that. When you read, when you hear this uh, about such a blessed personality, then you want to know more about them. And one of the ways is of this is learn the rights of the Mustafa Ali Sallam upon this nation. There are so many things. I mean, inshallah, as the silsila progresses, uh, we will discuss upon those as well. Mashallah, uh, definitely, both pyare and and the beautiful way our um, uh, Sayyid Munib Shah Sahib has explained that. We talk about many rights, but who introduced all these rights? Is our Rasul, our beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He is the first one. Jinnu ne sab se pehle in sab ke rights diye bataye. Lekin aaj afsos ki kehna hai ki saari chizhe pata nahi pata to piyari aqa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ke baare mein nahi pata. Ke unke shahzadeh kitne te, unki shahzadiyan kitne te, how he used to eat, how he used to smile, how he used to walk, how he used to look. Seriously. Is a sad reality. People know many things, but they don't know about our beloved Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam. A record bhi reality ye hai. If you don't know about any other people, koi koi effect nahi padega. But if you don't know the the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam writes, ya kalay sallam ki sirat ke baare mein nibat is a big loss for you. Is a big loss for your iman as well. Because how you can uh, protect your iman? How can you strengthen your iman? If you don't know the rights of the Prophet sallallahu if you don't know how to increase the love of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this is one thing. Uh, Mashallah, Masad Wasim bhai bhi hai. Uh, Qazi Ayaz alayhi rahma has mentioned a uh, few rights in Shifa Sharif, inshallah. We'll go through one by one, inshallah, as sawajad. Then first, Wasim bhai se pushte, inshallah. Shah sahab, Mashallah, you mentioned uh, many valid points, Mashallah, uh, Muni Shah sahab as well. One point that I would just like to move forward from what you just mentioned is that, you know, the Prophet wasallam is that blessed individual that because of him, many people got rights. If you, we spoke about this a couple of days ago, that what used to happen to women, what used to happen to a mother, what used to happen to a father, what used to happen to girls, what used to happen before the Prophet wasallam. It's the Prophet wasallam that gave everyone rights, in other words. And today, if you look at it, you know, one thing that I would like to mention here is that everybody knows their own rights. You know, a father, he will always start reading the, what's my rights? What do my children need to do? Ch child will read the, what, do, what does my father need to do for me? So we're always reading about what's our rights. But first of all, we need to read about other people as well. But especially, top of the list, the priority should be the rights of the Prophet Islam. And this is a beautiful topic that you've chosen today because for many people, this might be something new as well. That, okay, we know about the rights of the parents, of the children, of the neighbors, etc. But this is new for everyone, many people today as well, that the Prophet Wasallam also has rights. I want to mention about one ayah of the Holy Quran and the summary of this particular ayah regarding... Um, Three rights that have been mentioned in the Holy Quran. And this particular ayah where Allah mentions that all believers believe in Allah and His Prophet and help and support the Prophet and honor and revere him, glorify Allah morning and evening. Allah. If you look at this, there are three main points that are written here. First of all, the first right is believing. Faith in the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Number two is help and support. So helping the Prophet sallallahu So today, alhamdulillah, when we are helping the religion of Islam, when we are helping the ummah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, this is also acting upon this right. And finally, the, uh, one of the main ones which I would like to mention is honor, having love for the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Munir Shah Sahib mentioned a beautiful thing that today, if you look at our children, they know about everyone. You know, you know, within moments they can answer all questions. They know what's the rating, what the ranking are. But if you look at the Prophet Wasallam, anything that you ask, unfortunately our children don't know. And this is something that should come from the parents. The parents should be teaching their children what the rights of the Prophet Wasallam. You know, if you look at it, what I mentioned earlier is that the parents are saying, look, this is my right, this is my right, this is what you have to do to me. Forget, this will come afterwards. First important thing that the parents should be teaching to their children is that what are the rights of the Prophet ﷺ. Because once the child knows the rights of the Prophet ﷺ, inshallah, their life will become peaceful. And Shah the other thing that I'd like to mention regarding the rights of the Prophet ﷺ, 
each one that we will act upon is our own benefit. It will make our life more beautiful when we will act upon the rights of the Prophet Because Allah. there's many will go into it. For example, visiting the Prophet loving him. It's our own benefit, in other words, meaning our ishqa rasul and our life will become more beautiful if we follow the rights and act upon the rights of the Prophet So this is something that is very important. Inshallah, like you mentioned, that one by one we will briefly go through them, Inshallah, and Inshallah, speak about them. Inshallah, we have, Mashallah, our... Irfan Madni, MashaAllah, program mein welcome kehte hain. Aur Aka alayhi salatu salam ke rights ke upar, hukuk Mustafa ke upar baat ho rhi. Aap kya farmayin? Ki bilkul Shah sahab, jinna ne sanu sab to jada rights sikhaye ne, ona de rights te asi aaj gal karange. Jido bhi rights di gal hundi hai, mainly do taksim ki tiya jandiya ne. Pehle hai ke hukukullah, hukukul ibad. Hukukul ibad to sab to jada rights jadi hakdar hasti hai. O saade pyare sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Aka ay kareem. اللہ دے آخری نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم نے اور حضور صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دے انہیں رائٹ نے اور اہم ترین رائٹ نے میں بس چند عرض کراؤں گا اور نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دا اہم ترین جرہ رائٹ ہے او کہ حضور صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دی تصدیق کرنا آپ تے ایمان لے آنا جیڑا کچھ حضور صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اپنے رب دی طرفوں لے آئے نے یعنی دین اسلام قرآن شریف شریعت احکام اونا دی تصدیق کرنا نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم دی تعظیم کرنا شاہ صاحب نے منشن کیتا درود شریف بھی پڑھنا اور تعظیم دے ہوتے میں تھوڑا کلام کرنا چاہوں گا قرآن شریف نے سانو نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم دی تعظیم انہی سکھائیے خاص طورت اللہ کریم نے جدو دوسرے نبیان نے پکاریا تھے انہا دا نا لے کے لیکن نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم خاتم النبیین صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دی جدو واری آئی تے ساڑی تعلیم واسطے فرمایا کہ میں انہا دا نا لے کے نہیں بلکہ انہا دی القابات یا ایوہ المدثر یا ایوہ المزدمل یاسین طاہا سرکار دے پیارے پیارے القابات اور اللہ تعالیٰ نے سانو دسیا بھی قرآن پاک دی آیت مبارکہ ہے کہ اے ایمان والیو لا ترفعو اسواتکم فوق سوت النبی کہ اپنی آواز نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دی آواز تو بلاند نہ کرو اس آیت دی شان نزول اج بہت سارے واقعات نے حدیثان چاہن دینے ایک ایوی ہے کہ نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دے ایک بہت پیارے صحابی سن حضرت ثابت بن قیس رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ اونا دی نیچرلی تھوڑی سماعت سینا جڑی او کم سی ظاہر ہے تو انہوں پتا ہے جڑے بندے دی اپنی سماعت کم ہوئے او تھوڑا اچھا بول دا ہے نیچرلی او سمجھ دا کہ دوسرا تے شانے نے زولے چاندہ ہے سرات الجنان چا لکھا ہے کہ انہوں نے تنبیح کیتی گئی سی کہ ہو سکتا ہے کیونکہ ایک بندے دی اگر سماعت اچھی ہے انہوں نے کنٹرول اچھ نہیں لیکن کم بولنا انسان دے کنٹرول اچھ ہے تے انہوں نے تنبیح فرمائی گئی اس تو اگلی آیت اچھی اللہ پاک نے صحابہ اکرام دی تعریف فرماندے ہیں فرمایا کہ اوہ لوگ جیرے نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دی بارگاہ چا اپنی آوازاں پست رکھ دینے اے صحابہ اکرام دی بڑی زبردست شان علی آیت ہے ایسو پتا چلیا کہ صحابہ اکرام اللہ پاک دے چنے ہوئے نے تے وہ تقوی والے نے ایس واسطے سانو جیدو بھی صحابہ اکرام دا ذکر آئے عدب دے نال کرنا چاہی دا ہے بہرحال نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دی ریسپیکٹ کرنا اے نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دا رائٹ ہے کیونکہ آپ او ہستی نے کہ بعد از خدا بزرگ توئی کسا مختصر کہ اللہ پاک دی ذات تو بعد جاری سب تو زیادہ ریس تعظیم تے تعریف دے لائک ہستی نے وہ ساڑھے آقا صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم نے ایسے طرح قرآن شریف نے نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دی بارگاہ دی حاضری چاہے او ظاہری حیات و متصف سن یا صاحب مزار ہون الحمدللہ نبی کریم بلکہ سارے نبی ہی الحمدللہ حیات نے او نا دی بارگاہ جا آج بھی حاضری دین دے آداب علماء نے لکھے نے کہ جی تو نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دی بارگاہ جا آج بھی جانا ہے تے کنی تعظیم نال جانا ہے ہوتے تعظیم دا مقام تھوڑا پول جاندے نے اور ایک نیچر جی اگی جی تو بندہ اپنی مرشد کو جاندہ ہے یا کسی وڈی ہستی کو جاندہ ہے شروع شروع جی تعظیم ہندی ہے اور سو بعد انسان تھوڑا تھوڑا تعظیم نو کٹا دیندہ ہے بعض علماء خاص طور تے جی تو مدینہ شیف حاضری دین جاندے سی بعض علماء دے بارے لکھے تین دن تو زیادہ وہ تھے نہیں روک دے سی اور تسی ما شاء اللہ جیرے مدینی محول دے اسلامی بھائی نے انہوں نے دیکھا ہوئے گا کہ امام مالک دی کنی امیر السنت انہوں نے حکایات بیان کر دینے 
کہ وہ اپنی قضائے حاجت واسطے بھی مدینہ تو باہر جاندے سی نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دے شہر تا انہاں احترام کر دے سی تو نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دی انہاں دی آل انہاں دے صحاب دا کنہ عدب کر دے ہونگے بارال اگلا مزید جیڑے اسی رائٹ سنا گے انہاں جائے بھی ہے کہ نبی پاک صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دی آل نال محبت کرنا اے بھی نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دا ایک رائٹ ہے کیونکہ قرآن پاک دی آیت نے سانوے سکھایا ہے ایک ہون دیئے محبت ہے ایک ہون دیئے مودت یعنی خالص محبت تو بہترین محبت بے لوس محبت او والی مودت نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے ساڑھے تو چاہیے اللہ کریم کرے کہ اسی سرکار دی آل اونا دی صحاب نال محبت تو اونا دی تعظیم کرنا لے بنی ہے ماشاءاللہ عرفان بھائی نے ایک ساتھی ٹو تری رائٹس ہی ہے منشنٹ ایمان بال رسول بلیوز ان دی پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم and the love of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and also the uh, Rosa Rasul ki hazari, the uh, visit to the blessed shrine of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and also the love, the family of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Lekin mein jo baat hoi karenge, la deena leman la adab ala. Allah. Yakin kare, adab jo mila, adab sahi mila hai. Shaitan ne kya kiya tha? Be it, be disrespect. And look at what happened. Kitne hazaro saal, عبادت کی کہیں لکھا ایٹی تھاؤزن یار کہیں لکھا اس سے زیادہ آئے بات لیکن کیا ہوا ایک بے عدبی ایک گستاخی نے اس کو برباد کر دیا عدب جو ہے نا وہ بڑا ضروری ہے عدب 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 ریسپیکٹ اور خاص طور پر در پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے بارے میں جو ہے جب مزار کی روزہ رسول کی حاضری کے لیے جا رہے اس وقت عدب کیا ہوتا ہے ریسپیکٹ دیز تنگ آلسو جو پہلے رائٹس کے حوالے سے جو قاضی عیاس رحمت دا پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ان کی رسالت کے اوپر میرے آقا علیہ السلام کے فرامین جو انہوں نے فرمایا یہ امتی پر لازم ہے میرے آقا پر ایمان لانا ان کی رسالت کے اوپر اور سچی بات تو وہ یہی ہے آج کل جو دور ہے نا اس ویری ویری وہ کہتے ہیں کہ بڑی ڈریٹفل کنڈیشن اس وقت ہے بڑی ڈیفیکل کنڈیشن ہے اس وقت معاملات جو بھی آپ میڈیا لے لیں جو بھی چیزیں لے لیں اپنے ایمان کی فکر نہیں ہے اور ایمان ایک ایسی چیز ہے کہ یہ ایمان سلامت ہوگا تو جنت میں جائیں گے اور لیکن آقا علیہ السلام کے بارے میں جو عقیدہ جو ہونا چاہیے اس کے اوپر غور کر دیں کی بات ہے کہ ہمیں ایمان لانا کس طرح ہے جس طرح بتایا گیا ہے اسی طرح ایمان لانے کے حوالے سے اسی طرح ہمارے بلیوز ہونے چاہیے اسی طریقے سے ہمارے جو ہے وہ طریقے ہونے چاہیے لیکن آج کل جو معاملات ہیں وہ آپ کے سامنے سونا جنگل رات اندھیری چھائی بدلی کالی ہے سونے والو جاگتے رہی ہو چوروں کی رکھوالی ہے حالانکہ حقیقت تو یہ تیرے صدقے میں آقا آثار جہاں کو دی ملا بے دینوں نے کلمہ پڑھا لا الہ الا اللہ تیرے صدقے میں آقا آثار جہاں کو دین ملا بے دینوں نے کلمہ پڑھا بات یہ ہے انما الامال و بالخواتی اصل میں تو عمال کا دار و مدار خاتمے کے اوپر ہے اور اس کے لیے we have to be very very conscious about our ایمان اس میں سب سے بڑا پرابلم بولنے کا ہے جو آیا بول دیتے ہیں جو آیا دیکھ لیتے ہیں اب یہ بھی نہیں پتا ہوتا کہ یہ بولنا جائز ہے نہ جائز ہے کہیں یہ بولنے سے کہیں ایمان تو نہیں چلا جائے گا تو سب سے پہلی جو most important thing is our beliefs and our رقائد ہیں اسے صاحب وہی جس منشن ہے دیئے ہیں it brought back a certain memory that people aren't careful with what they say Meaning there was a person at one time, say so, he knew he was about to commit a sin and he's mentioned that this individual was told that this is a sin, etc. And the reply that he gave, say so, was a very astonishing reply for a Muslim to give. Allah. And he goes, Dekh lenge. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. He goes, we'll see. Meaning, meaning at the end, because he says that this notion that people have that uh, Muslims will eventually enter paradise. Mm. 
that is of course proven fact. So this, this fact is, you can say, it got into people's head that at the end, whatever happens, we get punished, we get this, we get that, at the end we'll go to paradise. They have this notion inside them. So they, uh, Allah, they think that the azab of Allah wa ta'ala is, you know, less, is halqa. Which is not a good belief to have. So many people say, sub, they don't uh, think b before what they say. And uh, Nigran Shura was mentioning a, a point regarding common sense. And one point I've learned from there, unfortunately, say, sub, common sense is not common anymore. Hmm. That's a sad reality. Sense hai, ye bhi nahi hai na. yeah, it's, not, it's not common. <laughs> na common in a sense. Hai. Kuch so, bhi nahi so they hai. just utter. Uh, nahi karte. So they utter just useless thing without uh, thinking of the consequences. But but one thing, say sir, this only happens. You realize this in matters of religion. Mm -hmm. If it's matter of job, matter of meeting a famous person, personality, meeting a, a person that you're going to get worldly benefit from, this won't happen there. This, then this is something we should question ourselves. Why does it only happen towards the religion side? Religious side, oh, we'll see what happens. Why don't you say that job side, that I'll wear whatever I want to wear. I'm going to look scruffy, hair not combed, everything. I won't brush my teeth. We'll see what happens. They don't do that that side. But they do it this side. But I say so, the topic, there are some Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I was mentioning one point. I'd like to add on to that point as well. That I need to think, you know, when the doctor advises you something, we say, yes, okay. Same medicine. You have to go to that doctor, that hospital, scan karna hai, no problem. He will go to the room, no problem. He will go to the room, he will not say anything. He will talk to a lawyer, a mufti, why? Why? No, he will try to make himself a mufti, when he says that he doesn't have to study the right thing. Well, many times he has said that in the religion, he is standing in the religion. If you take the world of the world, no one is speaking to the world. Building is made, no one will say anything like that. He knows that he is the right person for the right job. Same way, those who have learned the religion, 8 years, 10 years, 15 years, when they are advising you something, then take it seriously. People don't take these things. So this is the problem. Yes, yes, yes. It's lack of understanding and lack of knowing the importance of who to take religion from and who not to take religion from. And yes, again, coming back to Vaseem Bhai's point that they mentioned, in regards to the rise of Mustafa Ali Salatu Wasalam. And one thing we can do, say Sab, is that, especially this is for uh, kids between age four and you can say 11, 12. And this is something that every parent does. So when the child, before the child goes to sleep, teach your child about Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Say Sab, if the child grows up listening to uh, the accounts, the sayings, the blessed narrations, of the Prophet Ali Sattu Salam, he will eventually love that individual. He will eventually say, Sab, uh, Munir Bhai from UK, you know them. They were mentioning one point to me when we were in Madani Qafla in, in their city, Bristol. They mentioned that uh, there was a kid in, in their madrasa. So Munir Bhai uh, this has a habit of uh, continuously speaking about the Prophet Ali Sattu Salam. And there's one kid, he, he started to cry. And he started to cry and, he, and when the teacher asked him that, Son, why are you crying? Say, sir, the kids reply at a young age. And this reply, say, sir, you won't get anywhere other than the mahal of Dawat Islami. The kid replied, I want to see the Prophet Ali. Allah. I want to see the Prophet Ali. Now the teacher asked him the question, he goes, why do you want to see the Prophet Ali? Because I remember Ustaji was telling me, because before I was born, that, uh, that our, our Prophet Ali would cry for us. Allah. The Prophet Ali Salam, when I need the help the most, that Prophet Ali will help us. Meaning, say, sir, at a young age, children pick up on these things. The importance, the rise of Mustafa Ali Salam. So, this is the uh, request I'd like to give the viewers of Madani channel as well. That when you put in your child to sleep, just a brief narration or a brief story of the life of the Prophet Ali Salam, the seerah of the Prophet Ali Salam. This is one of the rights. Following the seerah of the Prophet Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is one of the rights of Mustafa <coughs> Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam. Teach your children this and inshallah these children will grow up to be lovers of the Prophet Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And more, more forward, say, sir, moreover, uh, Sasa mentioned a beautiful point that I had to add on to that point as well because both of mentioned beauty. Every point he mentioned is beautiful. Mashal. And one of the rights of Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam is believing that the Prophet Ali Sallallahu is Khatamun Nabi. That is, is, they are the final Prophet, La Nabiya Ba'ali. There is no Prophet after the Prophet Ali Sallallahu 
no messenger to come after the Prophet So embed this belief, this aqai, this aqidah in the hearts of your children, in your hearts first and foremost, inshallah you will see the love of the Prophet increase day and day on, inshallah. We are talking about the rights of the Prophet to mention the beauty of the Prophet to mention the rights of the Prophet to follow the uh, path of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is also the one of the right of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Kya farmate hai Vaseem bhai? Aqa alayhi salatu salam ki sunnate. Mere Aqa ne khud bhi farmaya na. Ke those who follow my sunnah, they love me and those who love me will be in paradise with me. Definitely Shah sahab. And uh, one of the rights of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is obedience to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And no doubt following the sunnah of the Prophet following his commandments, this is also acting upon one of the rights of the Prophet ﷺ. And if you look at the Sahaba Ikram, if you look at the companions, it was just a matter of finding out that this is a Sunnah, this is an action of the Prophet ﷺ, and they would make it uh, compulsory to act upon that as well. And this is something that we should be doing Shasab in our lives today, but unfortunately we don't. You know, if you look at the Sahaba Ikram, as soon as they used to find out his Sunnah, they used to act upon it. But with us, it's the opposite. If you look at the community, if you look at the world today, it's only Sunnah, brother, it's okay, it's only Sunnah. This is the mindset today. But if you look at the Sahaba Ikram, once they find out that it's Sunnah, they used to make it, you know, like compulsory to act upon that as well. So this is something that we should be doing. And I mentioned this many times on this platform as well, that, you know, when we act upon the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu in other words, it's the best way of life. It's the best way of drinking, it's the best way of eating, it's the best way of sleeping, it's the best way of doing everything in your life if you follow the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. And at the same time, you're also getting reward as well. And you know, there's many scientists that mention this as well. It's also benef beneficial for your health as well, for your environment as well. And this is also one right of the Prophet ﷺ that you follow his sunnah, inshallah. Why, Shasab, why should we follow his sunnah? One of the main reasons is, look, today when you look up to someone, you find out that my celebrity or my person that I look up to, he's doing this action or he likes doing this action. You, you go out your way to follow that, you act upon that, implement that in your life. And this is the Prophet ﷺ. In other words, because of him, we will enter Jannah, inshallah. He will help us on the Day of Judgment. He will help us in the grave, inshallah. So why should we not act upon him? And this is also a miracle. As we're talking about Milad as well, 1,400 years have passed us up. If you look at today's, uh, what happens with new trends that come out, how long did they last? 15, 20 years, maybe 30 years they last. But this is also a miracle of the Prophet ﷺ that approximately 1,400 years have passed. But still, people are following the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. The beard, the, you know how quickly this changes is amongst the young generation. Sometimes there's no beard, then the small one comes out, then the big one comes out. But if you look at the Prophet ﷺ, that 1,400 years later, you find hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of Muslims across the world, they grow through the fistful. Why? Because it's the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. Wow, you know the haircut, this changes on a regular basis, the design changes on a regular Allah. basis. But the, the Muslims, the Ashikani Rasul, they keep the Zulfa as well. The turban, mashallah. So all this, alhamdulillah, is a miracle of the Prophet ﷺ. This is something that we should implement in our life. There was one brother, and you know his daughter, she was you know, she, she was sitting down and drinking and she was eating while sitting down. Someone asked her, that, why are you doing this just to ask her? And she, she's only six years old. And she goes, I am doing this, why? Because the Prophet ﷺ did this. Now, this is a message as well for, for Munib Shah Sahib as well. That, you know, if we teach this to our children now, inshallah, it's just a matter of teaching them now, making them act upon this for one or two months, and it will become a lifetime for them. So it's very, very important that we would speak about this earlier on as well, that right now is the age when they are four or five or even younger than this as well. Try to make them act upon these sunnahs, inshallah, these teachings of the Prophet Sallallahu because you know, once they get a habit of doing this, inshallah, they will do this for the rest of their life. We might enter our grave, but they will continue to follow the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi You know, there's, there's, there's people today as well, they automatically sleep on the right side. Why? Because as a child, they used to sleep on the right side. Their, their mother, their father used to make them sleep on the right side. And they, they find out that this is sunnah as well. They're doing this for the rest of their life. So it's my humble request to all the parents that are watching at this moment in time as well, is that these sunnahs of the Prophet <coughs> Teach this to your children now, inshallah. They will automatically implement it throughout their lives. You will get rewarded, inshallah. I'd like to add on to that point. A, a beautiful example of teaching sunnah. No, look no further than Amir al Sunnah Dawn Barakatum. SubhanAllah. The tarbiyah of Amir al Sunnah Dawn Barakatum al Aliyah to the Muridin. Um, we went to Jalus and the brother that was handing out the flags, he had something in his right hand, his left hand was free. So what he could have done is, you know, given, taken his left hand and gave it. 
but no. He, when he stopped in front of us, he emptied his, he made sure his right hand was empty and he took the flag in the right hand and then he gave it like that. Because these little things we pick on, on that look at this tribute of Amir Sunnah al Birkat, not just there, even the security point, even the Zimadarans here, even the brothers here that meet you, that give you something here or take something, etc. This tarbiya of Amir Sunnah al Birkat, Mullah Ali, and following the Sunnah of the beloved Ali, salatu was salam, which side to enter, how, how to shake hands, etc. This is given by Amir al Sunnah al Birkat, Mullah Ali. So similarly, of course, uh, that, that tarbiyat is another level. But parents that are watching, etc., they can give this uh, likewise tarbiya at home to the children, upbringing it. And one of the rights of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is repeatedly mentioning their blessed name. <laughs> repeatedly mentioning their blessed name. There are so many virtues of just mentioning, the, of just the name itself. Subhanallah. That, you know, subhanallah, for example, you're talking in a gathering or you're talking just with your kids or you're teaching them a lesson, a life lesson, for example, let's say no lying. Mention something about the Prophet There's a narration about lying. That, you know, those that lie, etc. Give a narration about uh, not getting angry. So whatever you do in your daily life, be it with your children, your colleagues, etc. One of the rights of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is, you know, repeatedly mentioning their blessed name. And inshallah, with that mentioning of their uh, blessed name, you'll see barakah. Is that, you know, there are some aspects of the life of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa There are, of course, every. But when you highlight some, meaning the beauty of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It gives another life to our hearts. It just, you know, your hairs, they stand up when you're talking about the beauty of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam through the poetry of Allah Hazrat rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi. Ah, if you combine the ishq of a wali, if you Ay, combine the ishq of a wali, subhanallah, with the poetry he has written in the praise of the Prophet alayhi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and then you teach that to your children, then there is guarantee, say, sahab, that that children, inshallah, will grow up to be a lover of the Prophet Ali. Subhanallah, subhanallah. What I would like to just say from Shah Sahib's point, inshallah, is that you know, there might be someone watching, regularly mentioning the name of the Prophet. You know, like all of a sudden, they might be like, well, what are you mentioning here? It's not a difficult thing. Just observe your own friends' circles. You'll see that, for example, now, there's one friend he likes football. Automatically, Shah Sahib, you sit five minutes in his company, somehow, he would bring the conversation to football. What's the favorite score? Team. What's the score? What's the favorite team or everything? If someone likes cricket, somehow he would bring the topic to that. Same way, if we, we say we love the Prophet automatically amongst our gatherings, when we are sitting with our friends, when we are sitting with our companions, with our uh, work colleagues, automatically somehow, if you look at Amir Sunnat, you sit with Amir Sunnat for half an hour, or you can guarantee that amongst the Amir Sunnah's conversations, he will mention the name of the Prophet Why? Because he's a true Ashik of We need to also implement this as well, that when we are sitting with our friends, with our family, with our work colleagues, inshallah, we need to sp speak about the Prophet And the way, the way I will describe this is, we will actually decorate our conversations Allah, if we mention Allah, the Prophet's Allah, name, inshallah. Allah, Allah, Allah. Allah. कि ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਕਸਰਤ ਨਾਲ ਜ਼ਿਕਰ ਕਰੀਏ ਔਰ ਇੱਕ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਜ਼ਿਕਰ ਜ਼ੁਬਾਨ ਨਾਲ ਕਰਨਾ ਔਰ ਇਹ ਕਹੇ ਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਸੁੰਨਤਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਅਮਲੀ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਅਪਣਾਣਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਵੇਖੇ ਜੋ ਮੁਝ ਕੋ ਦੇਖ ਲੈ ਉਸੇ ਤੇਰਾ ਦੀਦਾਰ ਹੋ ਜਾਏ ਸੁਭਾਨ ਐਂਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਤਬਲੀਗ ਸੁੰਨਤਾਂ ਦੀ ਕਰੀਏ ਕਿ ਅਮਲੀ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਦੇਖੇ ਉਹ ਕਵੇ ਆ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਮਹਿਬੂਬ ਦਾ ਦੀਵਾਨਾ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਜੇ ਔਰ ਸ਼ਾਹ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਨਬੀ ਕਰੀਮ ਸੱਲੱਲਾਹੁ ਅਲੈਹਿ ਵਸੱਲਮ ਦੀਆਂ ਸੁੰਨਤਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਅਪਣਾਣਾ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਅਹਮ ਹੈ ਇੱਕ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਹਦੀਸ ਪਾਕ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਕੀਤੀ ਕਿ ਨਬੀ ਕਰੀਮ ਸੱਲੱਲਾਹੁ ਅਲੈਹਿ ਵਸੱਲਮ ਨੇ ਇਰਸ਼ਾਦ ਫਰਮਾਇਆ ਮਨ ਅਹਬਾ ਸੁੰਨਤੀ ਫਕਦ ਅਹਬਾ ਨੀ ਜਿਨੇ ਮੇਰੀ ਸੁੰਨਤ ਨਾਲ ਮੁਹੱਬਤ ਕੀਤੀ ਉਹਨੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਨਾਲ ਮੁਹੱਬਤ ਕੀ ਔਰ ਜਿਨੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਨਾਲ ਮੁਹੱਬਤ ਕੀਤੀ ਕਾਨਾ ਮਾਈਆ ਫਿਲ ਜੰਨਤ ਔਰ ਜੰਨਤ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੇਰੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਇੱਕ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਜੰਨਤ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾਏਗਾ ਦੂਸਰਾ ਆਪਣੇ ਕੁਰਬ ਦੀ ਵੀ ਬਿਸ਼ਾਰਤ عطا ਫਰਮਾਈ ਔਰ ਇਥੇ ਗੌਰ ਕਰੋ ਫਰਮਾਇਆ ਜਿਨੇ ਮੇਰੀ ਸੁੰਨਤ ਨਾਲ ਮੁਹੱਬਤ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਅਮਲ ਕਰੇਗਾ ਉਹਦਾ ਫਿਰ ਕੀ ਆਲਮ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਔਰ ਇਹ ਕੁਰਾਨ ਨੇ ਵੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਹੁਕਮ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਹੈ ਨਬੀ ਕਰੀਮ ਸੱਲੱਲਾਹੁ ਅਲੈਹਿ ਵਸੱਲਮ ਦੀ ਮੁਬਾਰਕ ਸੀਰਤ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਇਹ ਮੁਸਲਮਾਨਾਂ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਬਿਹਤਰੀਨ ਨਮੂਨਾ ਹੈ ਲਕਦ ਕਾਨਾ ਲਕੁਮ ਫੀ ਰਸੂਲਿਲਲਾਹਿ ਉਸਵਤੁਨ ਹਸਨਾ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਰਸੂਲ ਕਰੀਮ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਬਿਹਤਰੀਨ ਨਮੂਨਾ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਸ਼ਾਹ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਗੌਰ ਕਰੋ ਨਬੀ ਕਰੀਮ ਸੱਲੱਲਾਹੁ ਅਲੈਹਿ ਵਸੱਲਮ ਐਸੀ ਕਮਾਲ ਹਸਤੀ ਨੇ ਅੱਲਾਹ ਪਾਕ ਦੇ ਮਹਬੂਬ ਨੇ ਆਪ ਖਾਣੇ ਪੀਣੇ ਦੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਦੇ ਮੁਹਤਾਜ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਆਪ ਫਰਮਾਉਂਦੇ ਨੇ
لاور اب بالعرش جس کو جو ملا ان سے ملا بٹتی ہے کونین میں نعمت رسول اللہ کی اور آپ دی سادگی دیکھو کہ سادہ سادہ بچھونا سادہ کھانا اور ایسی مسکراہت والیاں ادامہ کہ جیڑا سرکار دے قریب آندہ اپنے گامی پول جاندہ ہے اے چیزیں اگر اسی بھی اپنا لیے نہ یقین کرو لوکان دے ہوں ایک تے نبی پاک دی محبت ویسی عام ہو جے دوسری ساڑے کرانج بھی امن ہو جے کیونکہ بعض سنتاں اسی نہیں نہ اپنایا ہوئی ہیں سرکار دی تسکین دینا لی مسکراہت علی سنت اگر اے اسی اپنا لیے کار دے چگڑے ختم دوستان جی لڑائیاں ختم اسی جی تھے کام کرنے ہیں ساڑے کولیگ ساڑے نال نہیں بان دی ہونا دی وجہ کی ہے کہ ایسی ایک دوسرے دی کارٹ کرن چلا گئے رہنے ہیں مسکران دے نہیں محبت نہیں کر دے روب ختم ہو جاتا ہے مسکرائیں گے روب ختم ہو جاتا ہے لوگ کی سمجھ دینے روب نہ ختم ہو جائے حالانکہ امیر علیہ السلام نے اس دور دی سب تیزہ مسکران علی اسی نہیں دیکھو نہ در روب ہے کہ نہیں یقین کرو میں خود انہ دی بارگا جی تو کئی دفعہ حضری دی تھی دنیا میں توڑتے روب دار کافی استیاں لیکن انہ دی بارگا جا آن دینا لی شاہ صاحب انہ دے آنسو نہیں رکھ دے کھڑے کھڑے رو رہے ہوتے ہیں اللہ حقوق اے اندھا روب میں ہمیں جی تو پہلی دفعہ ملاقات کرنا ہوا سی حضر ویسی میں نے بھی پتا نہیں کہ اچھا میں خود بھی رو رہے ہیں میں نے پتا نہیں کئی شرارتی بچے جہرے میرے نال گئے سی وہ بھی رو رہے ہیں اے اندھا اصل جو روب جہرے اللہ پاک نے محبت اپنے ولیاں دی لوگان دے دل جو ڈال دیتی ہے نا شاہ صاحب اے واقعی سنتہ تھی عمل کرنا لان دی اے اخلاص نہ لان دی لوگ کی سمجھ دیں اگر میں تھوڑی نرمی کی تھی آجزی کی تھی اگر میں مسکرا کے سارے نل گال بات کی تھی میرے تو وڈے حتیٰ کہ بچے ہیں دی امی نال بھی بعض دفعہ وہ سمجھ دیں کہ اہندے تو روب رکھنا پہے گا اہندے سامنے تو مسکرانا ہی نہیں اہندے پانی بھی نہیں پڑھانا حالانکہ نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اللہ اکبر اپنی ازواج متحرات نل اینا پہ آئے رضا اظہار اور اے بھی کوشش فرما دے کتھو تو مولا کے پیتا ہے تاکہ میں اتھو پیاں اگلے ہندی دل جوئی حالانکہ نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دے دے ہر چیزی تبرک ہے اور لوگی نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دا تذکرہ کر کے بلند مرد پہ پالن دے نے آلہ حضرت فرما دے نے کہ جو نہ بھولا ہم غریبوں کو رضا یاد اس کی اپنی عادت کیجئے اور اے بھی نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم دی محبت دا اظہار ہے کہ جتے بیٹھی ہے سرکار دے تذکرے اونا دے حسن دا تذکرہ اونا دے مسکراہت دا تذکرہ آپ دی سخاوت دا تذکرہ اور آپ صلی اللہ تعالیٰ علیہ وآلہ وسلم دیا پیاریاں پیاریاں اداما دے تذکرے دے کیا ہی باتا ہو جانا واقعی یہ جو مسکراہت سمائلی فیز دے چینج دا تھنگز سناریو تبدیل ہو آپ گاڑی میں جا رہو ایک دم غصے میں اور اوور ٹیو ہو گیا دوسرے ایک دن آپ مسکرار ہو گیا آپ چلے جائیں مولانا صاحب کوئی بات نہیں آپ کی مسکرار پورا سناریو چینج کر دیتی ہے لیکن آتی نہیں ہے یہ بڑا مسئلہ ہے آپ کر کر تو دیکھیں ٹینشن اینشن تب ختم ہو جائے گی میرے آقا کی ہر سنت میں عظمت ہے جس کی تسکیر سے روتے ہوئے ہس پڑے تبسم کی عادت پہ لاکھو سلام آئیے کچھ کلام سنتے ہیں انشاءاللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم واہا کیا جو دو کرم ہے شہ بطحا تیرا واہا کیا جو دو کرم ہے شہ بطحا
बारिश पे उड़ता है हरे टॉपिक और राइट्स ऑफ द प्रॉफिट सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम और इसमें एक आता है ताते रसूल ते बाए रसूल भी आता है ओबीडियंस द प्रॉफिट सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम दिस इज अ ओबीडियंस ऑफ द प्रॉफिट अली सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम दिस इज यू कैन से ए नेसेसरी थिंग इन आवर लाइफ्स एज़ वेल समथिंग व्हिच द प्रॉफिट अली सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम टोल्ड अस टू डू समथिंग व्हिच द प्रॉफिट अली सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम फॉरबेड अस मीनिंग डोंट डू दिस Once we know for a fact that the Prophet Ali said to Salam, I said this. That's it. We should follow that commandment or uh, that uh, negation as well of the Prophet Ali Salatu Salam. Today, say sir, the downfall is of the error that today. Oh, why did this happen? Say sir, you know this questioning. Why this is destroying and has destroyed many individuals. Or oh, why is this mentioned? Why did they do this? Why is this necessary? You know, why do I have to do this? Why can't I pray at home? 
why do I have to go to the masjid? This why Sisa that people ask, this is that question which you can say is a dis one that can destroy yourself, your iman, because asking why question the Prophet ﷺ, this is not our you know, game, ball of game, you can say. We don't question the Prophet ﷺ. Once we know the Prophet ﷺ has commanded us to pray salah, has commanded us to give zakat, has commanded us to perform hajj, the five pillars of Islam as well. The Prophet ﷺ has commanded us to do this. Without question, we do this. Yeah. The obedience of the Prophet ﷺ lies in following the commandments of the Prophet ﷺ, was sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. This is that Prophet Ali says, if they wanted, they could have made miswak farz upon us. But they fear that it become difficult upon the nation. Many other uh, uh, narrations are mentioned that because of the fear that it might become necessary upon the Ummah, difficulty upon the Ummah, the Prophet Ali uh, didn't continue that act for a long time, in continuously, because of this reason. So that, that personality says, who cared for us, who cared that it might be difficult upon us, when that personality says that, you know, this is necessary, do this. And then we don't do it as well, even though it's the very caring for this ummah. Sorry, wish. And then we don't do this. Then, say Sab, it, it doesn't, you know, fit right as well. That obedience to the Prophet Ali Sallallahu this is one of the rights of Mustafa Ali Sallallahu upon the nation. That that individual who will help us throughout our journey, from our birth till Qiyamah, who will help us. And we're not obeying them. You know, it's mentioned in narrations as well that you will not be... Uh, you're not a true believer until you love uh, me more than your parents, ila akhiri, etc. That if you do not love me more than them. So it says that this is the obedience to, of the beloved Ali Salatu Salam. This is a vital role in our, uh, we need to play in our society. And again, we need to embed, we need to teach this to our offspring. Firstly, ourselves, say You know what happens, say sir? Today, uh, parents, they send their kids to madrasa, but they don't know tajweed themselves. They send their children to do darsa nizami, but they don't know the main faraiz that they need to know. So that's where it is where we're lacking. We tell others to preach, but the parents themselves, first and foremost, they need to understand what is obedience, what's itaat e rasul, what is obedience to the Prophet Ali Salatu Salam. Once they understand that, say sir, then they can you know, transfer this knowledge. They can transfer this to the kids properly because it's like basically say sir, it's like saying to your kid, stop smoking, and you're smoking yourself. The kid won't pay attention. Yeah. So you need to do itaati rasul. For example, you tell the child, pray salah. And you as a parent are not praying salah. So the kid is going to say, you're not praying salah. Why am I going to pray salah? You know, you know, bacha, you need, to, you need to give zakat. Dad, you don't give zakat. Mom, you don't give zakat. And if it's a daughter, you know, mom saying you should put, you know, niqab, hijab, etc. And the mother's not doing it as well. So wherever we preach, we must practice first. This is why I've seen Amir al-Sunnah Dalman Barakatum Whatever they preach, they practice first. And inshallah, if you do this on topic of uh, itaat e rasul meaning the obedience of the Prophet Ali learn about this yourself, and then inshallah, embed in your children, inshallah, you'll see a positive effect in your life as well. Surah Ali Imran, ayat number 132, Allah Pak Irshad from Manda, wa ati'u Allah wa rasoola la'allakum turhamoon. Ki Allah or on the rasool di itaat karo, yani firma bardari karo, taake tode utte raham ki ta jaye. Or ek Quran Pak Irshad mutadid makam aate hai, اور نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دی اطاعت اندہ مطلب ہے جیڑا آپ حکم فرمان اندے تے عمل کرنا اور اللہ پاک نے اس تو بھی فردر سانو ایک اور ترغیب دلائیے کہ جی میں نبی پاک دی پسند ہوئے اوم ہی کر لو حکم دین تو پہلے ہی اوہ نو کہنے نے اتباع کرنا یعنی دیکھ کے ہی اے چیز نبی پاک نو پسند ہے وہ کرنا شروع کر دو اور اندے تے بڑی پیاری بشارت ہے اللہ پاک نے ارشاد فرمایا قرآن پاک اگر تسی اللہ تعالیٰ دی محبت تسی اللہ دی محبت دا دعویٰ کر دے ہو فَتَّبِعُونِ میری اتباع کرو اطاعت ہے کہ جڑے نبی پاک فرمان انہوں کرو اور اتباع ہے کہ جڑے وہ پسند فرمان کہیں تو پہلے ہی عمل کر دو اے اصل جی محبت دی علامت ہے کیونکہ جو بندہ کسی نے محبت کر دا ہے ان دی پسند دا خیال رکھ دا ہے اور سانو بس بالکل آخری جملہ ہے کہ نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دی پسند ساڑھی پسند ہونی چاہی دی ہے نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے مسواک کسرت نال کرنا پسند سی میں نے مسواک پسند ہونی چاہی دی ہے نبی کریم اپنے مبارک کا شانہ یا اگدس داخل ہوندے سی مسواک فرما دے یہ تو بیدار ہوندے مسواک فرما دے اور نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے اینی مسواک محبوب سی سانوی محبوب ہونی چاہی دی امیر علیہ السنت کی نی ترغیب دلان دینے نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کسرت نال تیل مبارک اپنے مبارک ذلفان جلان دے سی سانوی پسند ہونا چاہی دا ہے حتیٰ کہ کوئی چیز نیچرلی ہو سکتا ہے ساڑھی طبیعت نو موافق نہ ہوئے لیکن نبی کریم دی پسند ہے ایس وقت سانو چیز پسند ہو جانی چاہی دی ایک بزرگ رحمت اللہ تعالیٰ لے انہ دی بارگاہ جے ایک بندہ بیٹھے سی آپ نے جیدے انہوں دسیا کہ نبی پاک نو قد دشری بڑا پسند سی 
ਤੇ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਤਬਾਨ ਪਸੰਦ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਤਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਸੰਦ ਹੈਗਾ ਆਪਨੇ ਫਰਮਾਇਆ ਹੁਣ ਨਹੀਂ ਤੂੰ ਤੌਬਾ ਕਰ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਤੇਰੀ ਗਰਦਨ ਉਤਾਰ ਦਾ ਯਾਨੀ ਐਨਾ ਮੁਹੱਬਤ ਹੀ ਰਸੂਲ ਦਾ ਜਜ਼ਬਾ ਐਨਾ ਹੋਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਚੀਜ਼ ਤੂੰ ਕਹੀ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਇਹ ਜਾਣਨ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਵਜੂਦ ਕਿ ਨਬੀ ਪਾਕ ਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਪਸੰਦ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਤੂੰ ਕਿਹਾ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਪਸੰਦ ਆਲਾ ਹਜ਼ਰਤ ਅਲੈ ਰਹਿਮਾ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਕਕੜੀ ਵਾਲਾ ਵਾਕਿਆ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਪਤਾ ਕਿ ਮੁਹੱਬਤ ਰਸੂਲ ਕਿਸ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਸੇ ਆਲਾ ਹਜ਼ਰਤ ਕੇ ਅਗਰ ਆਪ ਉਸਕੋ ਦੇਖੇ ਉਨਕੀ ਆਦਾਦ ਮੇ ਉਨਕੇ ਕਿਰਦਾਰ ਮੇ ਉਨਕੇ ਅਫਕਾਰ ਮੇ ਮਤਲਬ ਆਪ ਉਨਕੋ ਪਤਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਲੋਕ ਜੋ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਇਸ ਕੀ ਉਹ ਰਿਸਪੈਕਟ ਨਾ ਕਰ ਸਕੇ ਤੋ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਆਲਾ ਹਜ਼ਰਤ ਜੋ ਹੈ ਆਲਾ ਕੇ ਕਮ ਖਜ਼ਾ ਖਾਤੇ ਤੇ ਸਾਰੀ ਕਕੜੀ ਇਸ ਲਈ ਕਹੀਂ ਇਹ ਨਾ ਹੋ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਇਸ ਕੋ ਥੂਕੇ ਉਨਕੋ ਪਸੰਦ ਨਹੀਂ ਨਾ ਜੋ ਆਕਾ ਅਲੈ ਸਲਾਤੁ ਸਲਾਮ ਕੀ ਪਸੰਦ ਹੈ ਤੋ ਅਸਲ ਮੇ ਤੋ ਉਹੀ ਬਾਤ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਉਨੀ ਕੀ ਮਾਨਨੀ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਉਨੀ ਕੀ ਚੱਲਨੀ ਹੈ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਦ ਰਾਈਟਸ ਆਫ ਦ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਆਈ ਵੁਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਹੀਅਰ ਇਜ਼ one of the rights is to recite rushi upon the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam this is also a right as well and alhamdulillah this is something that you um have uh, alhamdulillah in dawati islam is always been encouraged mashallah but especially in the program path to success mashallah this is something that on a weekly basis mashallah this is encouraged and this is something that we should be doing on a daily basis reciting the rushi sending peace and blessings upon the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam again what i mentioned at the start I mentioned this again there is only our benefit when we are acting upon these rights when we are doing them it's only our benefit we are getting true blessings we are getting mercies that are being showered upon us why because we are following the rights alhamdulillah we are acting upon this implementing this in our life beautiful narration that i would like to mention here is that just you know today many people follow many celebrities many big people but you know those people they don't know them they don't know who they are which corner of the world they're living in but it's mentioned that there is a blessed angel who is at the blessed grave of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam what's the role of this angel whether it's in the in Pakistan in India in South Africa in the UK wherever in the world you recite rushi for upon the prophet sir so only once this angel he will mention your name and your father's name in the court of the prophet sir so now shall so you know when i hear this narration just imagine to yourself that moment that the angel is mentioning my name allah your name and then not only your name your, your father. father's name allah. in the court imagine what a beautiful moment the other thing that scholars mention here as well which is beautiful is that it's entirely up to us if you want your name to be mentioned once recite rushi once if you want your name to be recited 100 uh, mentioned 100 times in the court of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam recite rushi 100 times 1000 times recite rushi 1000 now meaning is entirely up to us and those that are true ashikani rasul that are lovers of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam obviously is their desire for their name to be mentioned more and more in the court of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so this is one right of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to recite rushi in abundance inshallah whatever difficulty you are going through whatever problem you are going through whatever your desires are in fact recite rushif inshallah your problems will go away your difficulties will go away and inshallah we will also have ziyarat of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam inshallah subhanallah aap ke aakhir mein huzur masjid mein ko 5 minutes mein har kunji hai malik e kul kehlate ye hain rushif de utte kuch add karna chahanga waise har banda janda hai jido huquq kise de ada karne hon na bande da kadi mali kharcha hunda hai kadi thodi mushaqqat karni pendi hai lekin durood shrif nabi e kareem sallallahu alaihi wasallam da aisa pyara haq e sade te inde sada hi fayda hai ਮਰਤਬੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਬੁਲੰਦ ਹੋ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਗੁਨਾਹ ਸਾਡੇ ਮਾਫ ਹੋ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਪੁਲ ਸਿਰਾਤ ਇਹ ਆਸਾਨੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਮਿਲ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਦਰੂਸ਼ੀ ਪੜ ਕੇ ਔਰ ਸਾਡਾ ਨਾਮ ਸਰਕਾਰੇ ਆਲੀ ਵਕਾਰ ਦੀ ਬਾਰਗਾਹ ਚ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਸਾਡੇ ਵਾਲੇ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਬਰਕਤਾਂ ਨਬੀ ਕਰੀਮ ਸੱਲਲਾਹੁ ਅਲੈਹਿ ਵਸੱਲਮ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਦਰੂਸ਼ੀ ਪੜਨ ਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਦਰੂਸ਼ੀ ਵੀ ਇੱਕ ਐਸੀ ਇਬਾਦਤ ਹੈ ਅੱਜ ਕੱਲ ਦੇ ਦੌਰ ਚ ਦਾਵਤ ਇਸਲਾਮੀ ਨੇ ਖਸੂਸੀ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਹਰ ਬਿਆਨ ਹਰ ਮਦਰੀ ਮਜ਼ਾਕਰਾ ਸੁਨਨ ਦਾ ਬਰਾ ਇਸਤਮਾ ਹੋਏ ਹਰ ਦੇ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਅਲਹਮਦੁਲਿਲਾ ਦਰੂਸ਼ੀ ਦੀ ਤਰਗੀਬ ਦਿਲਾਈ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਦਾਵਤ ਇਸਲਾਮੀ ਚ ਆਨ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਲੋਕੀ ਆਸ਼ਕੇ ਦਰੂਦ ਬਣੇ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਹਰ ਇੱਕ ਬੰਦੇ ਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੈ ਇਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਨਬੀ ਕਰੀਮ ਸੱਲਲਾਹੁ ਅਲੈਹਿ ਵਸੱਲਮ ਦਾ ਇੱਕ ਹੱਕ ਹੈ ਉਹਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਥੋੜੀ ਜੀ ਰੋਸ਼ਨੀ ਡਾਲ ਕੇ ਕਿ ਨਬੀ ਕਰੀਮ ਸੱਲਲਾਹੁ ਅਲੈਹਿ ਵਸੱਲਮ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਸੇ ਕਿਸਮ ਦੀ ਵੀ ਇਜ਼ਾ ਨਾ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਜਾਏ ਕੁਰਾਨ ਸ਼ੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੁਕਮ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਲੋਕ ਅੱਲਾਹ ਨੂੰ ਤੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਰਸੂਲ ਨੂੰ ਇਜ਼ਾ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਅੱਲਾਹ 
ਕਿ ਅਗਰ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਸਜ਼ਾ ਵੀ ਦੇਣੀ ਪੈ ਜੇ ਨਾ ਤੇ ਐਂਜ ਕਰੋ ਸੈਦ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੇ ਪਾਉਣ ਨਾਲ ਕੀਚੜ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਉਹ ਹਟਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਅਲਹਮਦੁਲਿਲਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੇ ਅਕੀਦਤ ਮੰਨ ਦਾ ਹਜ਼ੂਰ ਸੱਲਲਾਹੁ ਅਲੈਹਿ ਵਸੱਲਮ ਦਾ ਸ਼ਹਿਰ ਮੁਬਾਰਕ ਹੋਏ ਹਜ਼ੂਰ ਸੱਲਲਾਹੁ ਅਲੈਹਿ ਵਸੱਲਮ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਐਨੇ ਪਾਕ ਹੋਣ ਆਪ ਦੀ ਔਲਾਦ ਆਪ ਦੇ ਅਸਹਾਬ ਆਪ ਦੀਆਂ ਅਦਾਵਾਂ ਹਰ ਇੱਕ ਨਾਲ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਮੁਹੱਬਤ ਹੋਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਯਕੀਨਨ ਰਸੂਲੁਲਾਹ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਖੁਸ਼ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਔਰ ਅਗਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਡਿਸਰਿਸਪੈਕਟ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਯਕੀਨਨ ਨਬੀ ਪਾਕ ਦੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਇਹ ਇਜ਼ਾਦ ਆ ਬਾਇਸੇ ਆਪ ਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਨਾਪਸੰਦ ਹੈ ਨਬੀ ਕਰੀਮ ਸੱਲਲਾਹੁ ਅਲੈਹਿ ਵਸੱਲਮ ਫਰਮਾਉਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਨਮਾਜ਼ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੇਰੀ ਅੱਖਾਂ ਦੀ ਠੰਡਕ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਨਮਾਜ਼ ਨਾ ਪੜ੍ਹੀਏ ਸਿੱਧੀ ਜੀ ਗੱਲ ਹੈ ਰਸੂਲ ਪਾਕ ਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਹੋਏਗੀ ਜਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਖੁਦ ਸੋਚ ਲੈਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਸੁਨਤਾਂ ਤੇ ਅਮਲ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਨਮਾਜ਼ਾਂ ਦੀ ਪਾਬੰਦੀ ਕਰਨੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਦਾਵਤ ਇਸਲਾਮੀ ਦੇ ਮਦਨੀ ਮਾਹੌਲ ਚ ਆਵਾਂਗੇ ਇਹ ਸਾਰੇ ਕੰਮ ਆਸਾਨ ਹੋ ਜਾਣਗੇ ਖੁਲਾਸਾ ਕੀ ਮੈਸੇਜ ਕੁਇਕਲੀ ਵਸੀਮ ਭਾਈ ਵੈਰੀ ਕੁਇਕਲੀ ਸ਼ਾਹ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਇਸ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਰਾਈਟਸ ਇਸ ਟੂ ਵਿਜ਼ਿਟ ਦ ਪ੍ਰੋਫਿਟ ਸਰ ਵਸੀਮ ਐਜ਼ ਵੈਲ ਸੋ ਥਿਸ ਇਸ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਵੀ ਸ਼ੁਡ ਟ੍ਰਾਈ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਇਨਸ਼ਾਅੱਲਾ ਦੋਸ ਦੈਟ ਹੈਵ ਨਾਟ ਬੀਨ ਵੀ ਸ਼ੁਡ ਵੀ ਡੈਫਨਿਟਲੀ ਸ਼ੁਡ ਮੇਕ ਐਫਰਟਸ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਇਨਸ਼ਾਅੱਲਾ ਐਂਡ ਦੋਸ ਦੈਟ ਹੈਵ ਬੀਨ ਵੀ ਸ਼ੁਡ ਟ੍ਰਾਈ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਟਾਈਮ ਐਂਡ ਟਾਈਮ ਅਗੇਨ ਇਨਸ਼ਾਅੱਲਾ ਮਾਸ਼ਾਅੱਲਾ ਬਿਊਟੀਫੁਲ ਮੈਸੇਜਸ ਫਰਮ ਯੂ ਔਰ ਆਖਿਰ ਮੇ ਤੋ ਉਹ ਮੈਂ ਹੀ ਕਹਾਂ ਉਨਕੇ ਨਿਸਾਰ ਕੋਈ ਕੈਸੇ ਹੀ ਰੰਜ ਮੇ ਹੋ ਜਬ ਯਾਦ ਆ ਗਏ ਹੈ ਸਭ ਗਮ ਭੁਲਾ ਦਿਏ ਯਕੀਨ ਕਰੋ ਜਿਤਨੇ ਵੀ ਗਮ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਜਿਤਨੀ ਵੀ ਪਰੇਸ਼ਾਨੀ ਹੈ ਬਸ ਇੱਕ ਆਕਾ ਕੀ ਮਿੱਠੀ ਨਜ਼ਰ ਕੀ ਬਾਤ ਹੈ ਉਨਕੋ ਯਾਦ ਕਰੇ ਇਨਸ਼ਾਅੱਲਾ ਪਰੇਸ਼ਾਨੀਆਂ ਮੁਸ਼ਕਲਾਂ ਆਪਕੀ ਪਰੇਸ਼ਾਨੀਆਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਰਹਿਣਗੀ ਆਪਕੇ ਲਈ ਪਰੇਸ਼ਾਨੀਆਂ ਮੇਰੇ ਆਕਾ ਕੇ ਲਈ ਕੁਝ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਨਾ ਬੋਲਾ ਹਮ ਗਰੀਬੋ ਕੋ ਰਜ਼ਾ ਯਾਦ ਉਸਕੀ ਆਪਣੀ ਯਾਦਤ ਕੀਜੀਏ ਕੀਪ ਵਾਚਿੰਗ ਮਦਨੀ ਚੈਨਲ ਸੱਲੂ ਅਲਲ ਹਬੀਬ ਸੱਲਲਾਹੁ ਤਾਲਾ ਅਲਾ ਮੁਹੰਮਦ ਸੱਲਲਾਹੁ ਅਲੈਹੀ ਵਸੱਲਮ